Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going back to the times when gift boxes were cool. You could actually store your cards in them, unlike the recent travesty of 2017. And with me, I have Ajani to do the pack blessing duties. So this is a Kaladesh gift box. You get five Kaladesh booster packs. As you can see, it looks like it's easy to open. We'll try that out once we crack it open. And then on the back here, perfect gift for the magic player who has everything. So you get a whole stack of stuff. So storage box, this is the thing I'm most looking forward to. Holds more than 800 cards. You get six illustrated plastic dividers, stickers for customizing the dividers. Five Kaladesh booster packs, of course, and an alternative art Chief of the Foundry from the Kaladesh set. And you also get a 20 card Kaladesh basic land pack. So that looks very cool. Is this something um, you have picked up in the past? Which was your favorite gift box? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so let's crack this thing open. And look, looking forward to seeing what we get in here. Alright, so we have an outer sleeve. No poster or anything inside that, so let's set that aside. And then here is the main box. Okay, and what is this? This is attached, I assume, yep. I'm not sure if that's anything, nope, just packing material. Okay, what else we got in here? Nothing much. So as you can see, you've got, it's all stuck together, three rows of cards there. So that will hold a fair bit, so we'll set that aside. And then all of this is stuck together, so how have they done that? Might need to cut that apart. Okay, they certainly didn't want you to get into that easily. Okay, so we have our five packs here. Before I forget, we will have Ajani do the pack blessings. Get this box out of the way. And if you're new to the channel, this is just some silly little thing we do to pull more value because sometimes it actually works. Okay, and we get the usual Quick reference card. Um, this is quite a handy little reference. They have this in most of the uh, sealed products. Obviously not the booster packs, but... Okay, so we've got some stickers here for dividing up our collection. Different types. Different formats even, okay. Corsets, premium foil, whole bunch of set symbols here. We go up as far as Kaladesh. And these are just some, okay, just some grey stickers. Alright, and then in here we have some dividers. These look pretty sturdy. Nicely laminated. Okay, they're fairly thick actually. That's surprising. Some nice artwork here. And this is something you did not get in the 2017 gift pack. That was a particularly atrocious thing so hopefully they'll return to this style in future 
And here is a Chief of the Foundry Artifact Creature Construct 2 3 for 3 mana. Other artifact creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. So we've got a nice foil here. Let's open that up. Foiling is a little difficult to see when it's inside the pack. There we go. Very nice. If I can get it to focus. Focus over here. Is the focus over here? There we go. <clears throat> okay, so then we've got our land pack. I'm not going to crack that open. It's not that exciting. Alright, so the juicy goodness of Kaladesh. Let's see what we pull today. And leave a note in the comments if you pulled something particularly nice from the booster packs from one of these gift sets. So we start off with Cathartic Reunion, Ornamental Courage, Dakara Scavenger. So that's supposed to be a crocodile. Larger than life, Revoke Privileges, Glassblower's Puzzle Knot, Rush of Vitality, Malfunction, Aradara Express, and for the uncommons we have Make Obsolete, Visionary Augmenter, Sequestered Stash, and a Metalwork Colossus. Alright, <clears throat> so he's a Artifact Creature Construct 1010 for 11 mana. Metalwork Colossus costs X less to cast, where X is the total converted mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control. You can sacrifice two artifacts, return Metalwork Colossus from your graveyard to your hand, and if I'm not mistaken, they had a foil one of these in the 2017 gift pack, along with, um, was it a Carry Zev or something? I can't remember. And, ooh, foilage. Nimble Innovator. Creature of a Delkin Artificer. 2-2 two, two for 4 mana. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. I really like the foiling on that one. And a Mountain. And a Thopter Token. Alright, so let's speed this up a little. I've seen Kaladesh many times before on this channel. So we have... Fragmentize, World Fast Swingsmith Takedown, Prakata Club Security, Giant Spectacle, Die Young, World Fast Monitor, Pressure Point, and that's that crazy artwork with the fox there. Talked about that recently. Riparian Tiger, that was in our lottery card series we're doing right now. Prophetic Prism. And Uncommons, we have Unlicensed Disintegration, Spark of Creativity, Snare Thopter, and Authority of the Console. So this is an enchantment for a single planes. Creatures your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under opponent's control, you gain one life. We get a Swamp. And a construct. I don't think I've seen one of these like this before. That is pretty cool. Very nice. Okay. At the halfway mark. Still a chance for some juicy pulls. I wonder if we could pull an invention from one of these. That'd be pretty crazy. Fragmentize. Failed inspection. Dakara scavenger. Sage of Shaler's Claim, Renegade Tactics, Self-Assembler, Tidy Conclusion, Inventor's Goggles, Giant Spectacle again, Impeccable Timing. And for the Uncommons we have Oval Chase Daredevil, Filigree Familiar, Veteran Motorist, and the rare is a Marionette Master. Alright, this is one of my favourite cards from this set. So this is a creature human artificer, one, three, four, six mana. Whenever an artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to Marionette Master's power, and you can fabricate three. So 
When this creature enters the battlefield, put three plus one plus one counters on it, or th create three one one color servo artifact creature tokens. Very nice. This is particularly good in a Godfaro's gift deck. We get an island and a beast token. I'm getting all these crazy tokens I haven't seen before. Very cool. Alright, down to the last two packs. What do we have here? Inspired Charge, Aether Tradewinds, Wild Wanderer, Fortuitous Find, Bastion Mastodon, Revoke Privileges, Renegade Tactics, Self Assembler, Tidy Conclusion, Inventor's Goggles. And for the uncommons, we have Contraband Kingpin, Quicksmith Genius, Disappearing Act, and Cultivator of Blades. So this is a creature elf artificer, 1-1 uh, one, one for 5 mana. When it attacks, you may have other attacking creatures get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is Cultivator of Blades power. So this has Fabricate 2, same deal as Marionette Master, but you only get 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters, or create 2 servos, and a Swamp, and a Thopter token. Okay, last pack. We have a Spireside Infiltrator, Tassel Dromedary, Dakara Scavenger, just about got a place out of those Takedown, Rush of Vitality, Malfunction, Aradara Express, Giant Spectacle, Die Young, World Fast Monitor, and for the Uncommons we have Ballista Charger, Furious Reprisal, Armorcraft Judge and Fleetwheel Cruiser. So this is a 5-3 for 4 mana artifact vehicle with trample and haste. When it enters the battlefield it becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. So you can crew it for 2, meaning you tap any number of creatures you control with total power 2 or more and this vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Alright, so nothing too crazy there. We get an island and a servo. So let's try this out here. We'll get a gift box. Put our cards in it. And of course, without the dividers. Let's see how the dividers work. So we've got a couple of cards. Grab one of these dividers that in there. Yeah, you might have to lean them back, but yep, really liking this uh, gift box. I think it's good value. I think I paid about 20 bucks for this. So if you have picked up a gift box before in the past, leave a note in the comments which was your favorite. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released and have a great day.